Hi everyone, good morning. Um, I actually wanted to speak about, um, before I forget again, I always forget, is about metformin. I know a lot of you are considering it or have taken it, which is fine. Um, if you are taking metformin, make sure that you're supplementing with B12. Um, what, pe what doctors fail to tell patients is that B12 is sucked out of your system because of metformin. The best thing that you can do is take these uh, B12 supplements. Um, these ones, um, I'm going to just put the name on to uh, on the uh, YouTube um, under the YouTube video as well. But this is the brand, or it's not brand. This is the type of B12 you should be using or taking because it absorbs better into your system. And I'm going to again type it at the bottom of this YouTube uh, video. So get your B12s checked if they're not checking for you um, to see where the levels are because what it happens is that um, in many cases when, uh, women are taking metformin uh, either for diabetes or for PCOS and they're noticing that their B12 is very low and it takes a while before they recognize that and the doctor has diagnosed it. It's problematic because it can cause a lot of things psychologically um, weaknesses, shiver, I mean like um, tremors, things like that. So B12 is a very important supplement. If you're vegetarian, f even more. So imagine if you're on metformin and you're taking your vegetarian, you're not getting the, you're not getting the meat sources of B12. Um, it's controversial when it comes to, like I myself was vegan, a vegetarian, so I know like you can get it, but still my B12 was very low when I was vegan and vegetarian. It just wasn't processing, like I wasn't able to absorb it through the you know vegetables and so forth. But in any case, that too, um, it's a different type of source. In any case, okay, I'm just going to go back. Take the supplementation if you're taking metformin. The other piece I wanted to speak about was um, if you're considering metformin, I would highly recommend that you first of all look at if you need it because you're diabetic or if you need it because of its uh, because the doctor wants to just kind of balance it out for your PCOS so you can lose weight and so forth. Before you take the prescription route, like let's say if you're not diabetic or if you're borderline like I was, um, if you're borderline, like I was borderline, borderline and the doctor told me I should take metformin and I had said no took my um, inositol actually prior to that didn't take anything I didn't even know my inositol existed but um, try to reduce the sugar it's the first thing exercise and so forth so naturally to control um, the insulin at the end of the day they're giving you metformin to control insulin you can control insulin through how you're eating and your activity levels you don't have to be on metformin these are some considerations. Sure, you can try metformin. Um, you may like it, you may not. You may want to wean off of it. You may want to stay on it, entirely up to you. But I'm just saying there's other options out there besides taking the you know, metformin. Now, if you have actual diabetes, type two diabetes, and you're being prescribed it, again, look and see how the numbers are, if you're able to reduce. Like, what I'm trying to say here is, you have a lot of control over the choices you make. If someone, like I was prescribed birth control, I was pres prescribed metformin. Um, there was another medication, I can't, can't even fully remember, uh, but different you know, varieties that they tried to assist me through prescription drugs, which I did not want to do. That doesn't mean you have to do that. Do what works for you, but make sure you're making an informed decision. Now, for those of you who are taking metformin, my main message here is, make sure that you're supplementing with B12 and you're getting your B12 checked because this is the biggest missing link for many people and they find out a little bit too late. So I need, you, I thought this was, you know, very significant that I share this with you. Any questions or comments as usual, let me know. And I hope this was clear. I'm always like rambling. So my, my apologies these past few weeks. Um, so in any case, just, this is the main point I'm going to put down with the B12 that you should be, uh, utilizing and, and taking um, just generally but if you're metformin please do so it's a very important okay and um, yeah so anything else I'll just type at the bottom all right take care have a great week